we'll come back. So I've pretty much always been happy with Bootstrap. I think it's a great uh, platform to work on. But working with Angular, I feel there's um, I can do better, right? Um, so if I go into the Angular UI Bootstrap here and I start looking at the different directives, like uh, we have alerts, we have buttons, we have all kind of great um, already built in directives here. And that's helpful. You guys should use this. But I've just found another one, another set of these directives that I feel is very exciting. And that's called Angular Material. So I thought, why not spend this lesson actually showing you guys how to switch out one framework for another or one JavaScript library in Angular from an for another JavaScript library in Angular. And we're going to use Bower to do this. Now, first of all, to get to the code where I'm at now, right now, you need to do a checkout, uh, sorry, git checkout, and you need to do version 107. That's the version I'm at right now, okay? And um, then we need to figure out how to get this, all of this beautifulness over into our application, and that's the next step. So how to get started with AngularJS, Angular Material, sorry. Uh, well, we need to, first of all, go into getting started here in Angular Material, and then I'm going into the Bower NPM and whatever, and in here, we actually have a way for us to install it using Bower. Now, why use Bower? Well, it makes it available for you guys. In the next lesson, I'll show you by writing Bower install, you guys will get the same plugin in your code that I'm getting right here, right now in my code. So I'm going to do a Bower install Angular Material, and it also makes it easier for us to download the package. We don't need to, need to understand exactly how it's going on. It's just using the package manager to pull it down for us. Now I add the dot save to make sure that it's also available for you guys when you get to this point. So I'll just do the Bower install Angular material. I'll wait a few seconds and it'll ask what kind of Angular I do you want to use for this setup. Now that's because I'm, I have a lot of Angular packages on my machine. So I'm going to say I want to use the newest one, which is 4, that's version 150. And then it installs it for me. So now that was step one. Now we have installed the package on our machine. Now we just need to explain to our beautiful application that we want to use it and then try to use it. So step one is to explain the application that we want to use it. And if I scroll down a bit further here on the page, I'll actually see here, to use this, you need to add a dependency, include app dependency of ng material. All your different tools will have some kind of dependencies if it's needed in your Angular application. Like not only this guy, the bootstrap one also have a dependency. So if I go back to the top here, it says add the dependency of ui.bootstrap. Okay, where do we add this dependency? Inside your code, there's a, a piece of code called app.js in the client. In here, that's actually all the dependencies that we have. So I'll do a comment here and I'll act at the line right here. Now I'm also dependent on it. And the last thing we need to do is actually just add the code to start using this library. It's that simple. I just want to show you one more thing before we do. Inside Bower JSON, there's actually been added a new line here called Angular Material. That means that doing the dash dash save made it available so you guys can write Bower install in the next lesson and it'll automatically pull it down for you if you haven't got it already. Okay, so let's get back to our code here and I wanna add it now to, I wanna start using this new material list instead of the media that we built in the last lesson. So how do we do that? Let's get into the Angular material here. That was the wrong one. And let's get into the Angular material here and I'll just go back to the start page. And here's one called demos. And here's actually the list of all the directives we just got for free. And that's pretty much everything we can even think of in here for any web page. We want to use a list item and we want to use something looking something like this. So let's just open the view source here and I'll just grab everything from here to here, meaning MD list. I don't have the end tag for it, but we'll make that manually. And then I have a subheader and the list item. So I'll copy all of this into my code right above the old one. And I'll just add a, an end MD list down here like this. There we go. So now I'm pretty much ready to make uh, my new beautiful list. Let me just beautify this. 
and we want a tree line one but instead of this as the title we want to say silver bosses just like we did with the old one instead of doing an ng repeat for items in to do we want to do an ng repeat for items in all our syllabuses nothing is going to change here it's going to be exactly the same like we did before and then instead of saying who and the item we're going to grab this guy down here and paste that in instead Boink. there we go save that and then we're just going to remove the rest of it down here save it now to make this work you have to do one more thing and that's to restart your grunt so i'll do a stop of grunt serve and i'll start it again now remember Control c a few times to stop your grunt from running and then just start it up again now hopefully we'll see my new list item it's not perfect yet but next video we'll make it clickable and deletable let's just see it running actually there we have our syllabuses they're in there if we want to make it clickable i can just do that with a single line before we just end this i'll do an ng click equals um let's just make a method go to syllabus and send in the syllabus i want to go to and i'll explain this in the next lesson i just want to show you adding that ng click directive will actually make this guy now able to mouse over him and i can do a click and you can see the animation is already there so we got a lot of great information for free okay that was the adding the library so now you know how to add a new library see you next lesson